Welcome back to Living 808. 1994, the sports world was turned upside down when Shane Stant violently attacked figure skater Nancy Kerrigan while she was in pursuit of a spot on the Olympic team. He was 22 year old. Uh, was 22 year olds back, uh, 22 years old back then, um, and was hired to do the unthinkable act. But he's here now, a changed man, and he's joined by first-time filmmaker known for his beautiful voice and music, Justin Young, who is the producer of the documentary My Hero's Shadow. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it. It's a little. It's a little odd for me to have to introduce somebody like that next to me, knowing that you're you're not the same person. Uh, I, so I, I just want to say thank you for being here. Um, and thank you for answering some questions. And really, I just want to say, uh, I want to ask you, why? Why, did, why back then did you do that? I think for me, it was just a place where um, in my life, I just kind of kept going down and down and down. Mm -hmm. And I was open to um, making really bad decisions. Yeah. And uh, it was definitely one of, one of my worst. Did you, um, did you ever apologize? No. I feel like personally, like the best apology is to make a change. Mm -hmm. um, I really can't legally contact her uh, because she is a victim. And I think past a certain point, there is there's a place where it interferes with the person's life more than yeah. gives it more value. Sure. You know, so to me, I was more like, okay, like how can I change as a person? I think people say they're sorry a lot, but without change, doesn't really mean that much. What did you think of your portrayal in uh, I, Tonya? Um, I thought it was funny. You know, it's obviously strange to see uh, see a movie where you're portrayed and they don't really they don't really know you. But mm -hmm. I thought the movie was really good, and uh, and you know, so it's obviously a small snippet, and, and I think it's how the the public perceived me. So I think it was accurate. Uh, your uh, your story is being told, and I want to ask Justin. Um, First off, everybody knows you as a singer. When did you become a filmmaker? <laughs> Just now. <laughs> <laughs> Just recently, yeah. Yeah, I loved documentary films for a long time and um, thought it'd be interesting to be able to tell stories in a different format. Mm -hmm. um, songs are, you know, three to four minutes long and kind of limiting in that sense. Yeah. So I went to documentary film school uh, a couple years ago and uh, came back to Hawaii right after I finished and um, was playing some shows and I met his sister and, and Miley told me about you know, her older brother, that was her hero and her protector. And she had um, started writing a book called My Hero's Shadow, mm -hmm. sort of countering all the things that people thought about him. Yeah. Um, and I just was, you know, so shocked. I had no idea that, you know, the hitman was Hawaiian and had these connections to Hawaii, even though I had known a lot about the story. Mm -hmm. um, and just kind of said, hey, if you guys ever want to tell it in a documentary, I'd love to do it. And not really thinking it would happen and then about a year later she's like my brother's ready to tell his story wow and so um, tell me about this film because this story is pretty amazing yeah I mean it, it's both of their um, sort of transformation that they've gone through and overcoming um, a difficult childhood it also goes into the attack quite a bit um, I think what's really cool about Shane is that he both expresses the sort of circumstances that created him to be the kind of person that could be a hitman and at the same time doesn't use it as an excuse and accept the responsibility for what he did and in that responsibility that he accepted he also realized that he could change mm -hmm. and he had a choice to make and uh, that event in going to jail really catalyzed him to become a person that could be a hero for somebody else let me ask you uh, Shane your sister said um, she felt so funny seeing you being told to the world uh, with the label the hitman back then who were you as a 22 year old what what kind of kid were you I was definitely like on a bad path I don't think it was one of those things where I just made one bad mistake you know it, it just kept tumbling and getting worse and worse and worse and I think with any of us as you start to go kind of down a dark road slippery path it mm -hmm. becomes easier to kind of pick up speed and momentum in that direction yeah you know so for me ultimately um, prison was a good thing yeah. you know and just coming to terms with who I was as a person and uh, realized that I could make a difference in myself in my own life and uh, happen to make a difference in my sisters who are you now um, I think I'm somebody that tries to grow mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally every single day. Um, I'm definitely, you know, the title, I think, for the hero part. You've mm -hmm. come to realize that uh, we all are at times a hero, at times we're villains, at times, you know, we're patient, at times we're impatient. So I think I'm just somebody that wants to grow as a person every I, day. I think um, 
uh, you could leave a, a lasting legacy by telling a story and changing the lives of somebody who might be on that path that you were on to, uh, when you were 22 years old. So thank you uh, for, for having the bravery to tell this story now. And thank you, Justin, for, uh, for telling the story because this is, a, I know that it was written in a book, but this is a, this is a good uh, starting off point for changing maybe a lot of young people's lives that might be on the wrong path. You've already uh, previewed the film. Mm -hmm. Tell us where we can find this film and where someone can watch it. Yeah, it premiered uh, yesterday at the Hawaii uh, International Film Festival, and it, it shows again Wednesday at 3.30. And I'll be there. Shane will be there um, taking questions and That's talking great. story. So Wednesday, there you see it on your, on your screen. It's called My Hero's Shadow, From Hitman to Hero. It's at uh, Dole Cannery Stadium 18, uh, November 14th. Showtime's at 3.30. And you can find out more information on HIFF.org. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks Thank so much, you man. so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Justin. Thanks, brother. And I'll Good be see. looking forward to your next concert. <laughs> Maybe you'll coming be up. opening for Bruno one of these days. There you too, go. Now. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, coming up, we're going to let uh, the reigning Miss Hawaii, uh, Hawaii USA, Julianne Chu.